Well, 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 welcome to another episode of SKST Radio, and we are slowly wrapping up International Women's Month, and I have my good friend back again. She goes by the name of Tammy Thomas. Hey! Hey! I'm back! You back, girl. I'm glad you back, too. Thank you for coming back. Yes! (laughs) (laughs) Okay, so we were learning about you and all the things that you you're doing in the community so for the new people who are just tuning in and 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 not haven't had the opportunity to meet you tell people who you are and what you do well i am tammy thomas hence the where's its name right there right yes yeah, there, there we go tammy thomas there you go there you go there you go uh it's okay buddy uh, my dog gets psyched out from the ambulance, but <laughs> but uh, I am a actress, and I've been doing this for uh, I was eight years old when I did my very first play in elementary school that was called Kids Sing Phrases, and so uh, once I did that, I was hooked, and I never stopped. And uh, I wrote my first screenplay back in two thousand and eleven. And it was produced in 2013. And so uh, once I did that, it's called Paradise House. So once I did that, I wrote some horror shorts and some sci-fis and then some dark comedy shorts. And then I wrote another full feature called The Rings That Find Us. And yes, so uh, that's where I came in. (laughs) Yes, 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 yes. So The Rings That Find Us, it was produced in Dallas. I also, I have a home in Dallas. I also live in Atlanta. So I'm back and forth between the two states. I am also a, a, a traffic reporter, and I've been doing that now for 20, going on 24 years. What? And yes, yes. So I started out in Dallas as a traffic reporter, and then I moved to New York, did it for a while in New York, and then came to Atlanta, where I am currently. And life is good. I will not complain, even if I did, it wouldn't do me any good, right? Right, right. Do any of us any good? We no. Know, uh, yeah. Well, okay. Now next, you got to keep going. You're a powerful woman, so you can't let that stuff no. break you down. No. 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 <laughs> you cannot, and I will not. I right? know, right? Right. Okay, my so- calendar. My calendar says choose to be happy. This. This. This today, March 25th. It says choose to be happy, I and I that. so love me too. And I so that's that. what you got to do. Yeah, yeah. You know, well, I used to have some, well, actually, I still do have a couple left. I've had this magazine, like a Vogue magazine or something, mm-hmm. and it had these little strips of po- positive notes, mm-hmm. and messages. And so what I decided to do was to put them on my bathroom mirror. Yeah. And, you know, that really did help me for a little while Absolutely. until I took them all off because yeah. each day I would share it, right? Yeah. And so uh, I think I got like three left, and those were the ones that I wanted to keep for myself. Mm-hmm. Right. But yeah, take those little positive strips and then just give them to someone. You know, it makes their day. It makes their day. It's made my day. So let me pass my day on to someone else. So what you just said, that calendar thing, I think that's pretty cool. I love that calendar. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. So tell people, what are you doing now? What's going on in your life? Uh, Right now, I am still writing. I'm in the process of writing a horror short film and getting the finances together to do that. Also, of course, the radio thing is every day, Monday through Friday, bright and early from 5.30 a.m. to 10 a.m. And then again from 3, I know, right? And then again from 3 p.m. to 6.40 or 7 p.m. And uh, that split shift that we do, traffic reporters, that's uh, something we do. I was introduced to that when I got into the world of radio. I never knew anything about split shift. So so that's what I do for my day job. And like I said, I am writing and getting ready to produce and uh, get another short film finance. I am really hoping for uh, the actors that I want for this one. I know, uh, you know what? No, we're going to put this... They're they're cutting. Speak this yeah. into existence. Yes, so I'm gonna get the gonna get the actors that I want for this, and also just doing you know little things around town, and mm-hmm. so you know to keep the artistic vision going. Gonna get a book club. Well, I had a book club, and so that kind of faded, and now it's a live interactive book club that I'm doing. Oh, also, cool. that I'm gonna start back doing. We did it, and, and then so yeah. So let me ask you this about the book club. Just me, me being curious. Now, is a book club 
something you can do virtually? Absolutely. That's what most people are doing now. That's exactly what they're doing now, huh? Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm, I'm thinking book club. You know, I'm always thinking of a group where we're at the coffee shop or we're somewhere. Now, you know, that's the old school. And some people still go ahead and meet up for the book club physically mm -hmm. at a brick and mortar. But I, mm -mm, my book club is all it's virtual. Oh, I love it. Absolutely. Yeah. I've never thought about that, though. And mm -hmm. you know, I'm like, hmm. Yeah, I haven't been in the book club in I don't know how many years. Yeah, you, you need to go ahead and reconsider joining. Yeah, that's something to think about. Yeah, absolutely. Uh huh. Something to think about. Look at that hint. <laughs> I, I, I see that hint. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so come on, let's talk about look at that hint, hint. Let's talk about your, your movie. Now, where are you filming this movie? Is it going to be in Texas or it's going to be in Atlanta? It, well, it's going to be in Texas. I don't know. So here's the deal. Texas offers incentives and then Georgia offers different kinds of incentives. So we have to see what's going to work best. I love filming in Texas because Texas is my home, plain and simple. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I also have another actress that I'm really wanting. And then another actor, uh, male performer that I really want. He is out of California. Okay. So uh, it, it really would be more cost effective for us to go ahead and film in Dallas. Okay. So that's you, where that's where we're that's where we're looking to film. Well I can come to Dallas for a shoot and die. You know, I can die and <laughs> you want to die one? I can die in one of the scenes. So that see, way that's, see, that's, see, that's, see that's the problem. Black folk always die and the first to die. <laughs> I could be the first black person to die. They always kill a black person first. Me. <laughs> yeah they do, right? I, I could be that person and like you like Lucy, I love Lucy head on the bottom of her shoes. This is Lucy. Yeah they <laughs> You just talked about my girl. I love her to death. That and then Lucy me. Ricardo. Once you had Lucy, the other one had Ricardo on it because she couldn't get because she couldn't get the hat thing together. She kept going. <laughs> love it. Oh my god! Don't get so me started can, on Lucy. Right. So I could be on your film, and I could be. I could die. I could die early. I don't mind dying early. You know what? Then well, we're gonna have to talk about that. <laughs> we're gonna have to talk about making that happen <laughs> you know i could be that that um that nosy neighbor you know <laughs> you know what you, you really good you're really good and so hmm all that noise going on over there you know break down the line in there <laughs> <laughs> what y'all doing over there <laughs> yeah, I'm calling the police right now. <laughs> and then an arrow. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I, you know, it just like I said. <clears throat> excuse me. It depends on it, it. We love filming in Dallas, and so what we do is we usually film shorts in Georgia, right here in Atlanta, and then do our full features in Dallas. Mm -hmm. But we may have to do a switcheroo because I also have another full feature that I would like to do as well, but that's kind of on the back burner back. for now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let me know so I can get my little uh, flight. So I, I want to go home anyway. And so when this, do you want to go home? I want to go home. I don't know. I want to go home before the summer ends. Mm -hmm. I want to go home before the summer ends. I really do. Yeah. I've been in Texas and since COVID. Oh you know, yeah. They locked yeah. us out and, and and yeah. And I hadn't had a chance to go back home. Mm -hmm. So that would be really nice to go see everyone, right. you know, to go Absolutely. see my family, um, my friends that I haven't seen in I don't know how long. Absolutely. And so that would be really cool. Yeah. So shoot, I get home. I get home uh like Four times a year, three oh, to four it. times a year. Yeah. Oh let's yeah, I, I'm. I can't stay away. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I got Sumi and my people there, and you know. So. Yeah. Well, it's kind of hard now because now that we have the studio, and I'm still working full time, and then I have the studio. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a full fledged studio with four studios now, mm -hmm. uh, and then we have um, the office, the executive offices we just opened up, and so I've been busy. And you, you know, have to oversee that. Yeah. So it's yeah. Been, been really busy. Now, DJ T Nice is in San Antonio, Texas. Okay. So 
he's oh. in Texas too. And uh, so he does uh, a lot of the engineering of the shows. On his remote Don't way. you just love it? With, uh, love the fact that we can do things virtually and we can have friends and family doing things from all over the world. Absolutely. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. That is the glory of technology. You know, I used to hate technology. I Me didn't too. embrace technology. I, I'm starting just now starting to embrace it now. But before I hated it, I didn't want anything <laughs> to do with it. But I stopped. Okay, right? Yeah. And yeah. so but I had to stop demonizing it. And just yeah. know that some of it is actually being used for good because yeah. I felt like it was disconnecting us in, in a sense, you know, especially the text messaging and the email instead yeah. of people picking up the phone to call, that's all that they're, you know, they're, they're only going by words, right, by right. words and not verbalizing things. So that's what got me about it. But mm -hmm. with this right here, the uh, skyping and the zoom and and uh google video and all of that mm -hmm. i'm i'm loving that because it allows you to do so much and so, yeah. so much versatility yeah i mean when i was um when we were in texas and we were doing skst radio mm -hmm. um actually we're celebrating 31 years the 20th of march made our 31st year congratulations Thank you. Yeah, congratulations. So between, Whoa. you know, off and on, but, you know, being consistent and trying to keep it going, keeping it going, you know, yeah. um, it came up on our, our LinkedIn. Uh, it was wow. like 31 years. Everybody was congratulating me. And I'm like, what are they congratulating me for? You know, <laughs> it down on me that May, um, March 20th is my favorite day of the whole world. Wow. And I started the business on March 20th. I wrote my first book on March 20th. Everything positive happened. I did my first stage play March 20th. Wow. And so, uh, but it was March 20th and, and everybody was congratulating me. And I'm thinking, what is going on? Well, come to find out it's special case specialties, 31st mm -hmm. anniversary. And so I was that like, oh, amazing. let me embrace this a little bit because I never would have remembered. I never would have thought about it because you just do it, right? Yeah, you don't, absolutely. You know, you just do it. And, and so sometimes you're not really paying so much attention to the date. Yeah. You're just doing it, making things happen. So yeah, I'm bad about that myself too. Dates. Yeah. <laughs> oh Lord. Yeah. Ooh, I'm bad about that. So, but yeah, I mean, so you got to, we got to keep going. We got to keep going. And this is what keeps me going. This is my happy yeah. spot. Good. And so when I'm here, um, I'm happy. You know, I, I, I really am. This is stuff I love doing and I've been doing it for years and, and I wouldn't change it for the world. Don't. Don't. I love to see people who have a niche and they take their talents and they use them for good and it's their outlet. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. we can get in this huge rut mm -hmm. and go to work. We go home shower, go to bed and do it all over again. Repeat. Yeah. You know, we're just living on repeat. Mm -hmm. uh, or okay. Autopilot. Yeah. Uh, autopilot. And so it, it's good to always have that outlet instead of just so, because that's a lot of times contributes to the, the, the autopilot contributes to our discontentment mm -hmm. and unhappiness. So yeah. that's why I always say, you know, have yeah. your hobby. And, and don't always be fixated on money. Money, 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 yeah, money. Yeah. And I, I know you that know what? Money's money. not everything. It's yeah, not exactly. everything. It is not. And all money ain't good money either. So also got to remember that as well. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And so, um, so anyway, I, we're just shooting the breeze. I know it, girl. But I was, uh, people want to learn about you, not me. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I, listen, listen. It's it's pretty much. I, oh gosh, I've had a very long career. Uh, so what? I was eight years old, 28, 30. I'm horrible at math. Twenty, thirty. 30 so I'm going on my uh, thir thirty-one years. I've been in the business. Mm -hmm. So uh, same thing as you. Well, congratulations years, so. to you too. Thank you so much. <laughs> so in film, television, theater, I started out in theater and I, yes. And so I, I got the bug very early in theater. The theatrical performances are so wonderful, yes. you know, and I've had the, the 
the wonderful beauty and opportunity of playing a whole wide range of characters, a whole wide range of genres. I mean, we're talking Western. We're talking about the Renaissance period. We're talking oh, yeah. about, yeah, um, the, uh, uh, you know, period. I love period pieces, okay? Mm -hmm. I, I mean, that's obvious. So, uh, you know, I've had the opportunity to play an array of characters. I was in, uh, I don't know if you know, uh, Teatro Dallas Cora Cordona. She directed me in um, black, uh, black butterfly in chloroform, and so okay. I played um, Plato's mother. I played um, the La Catrina, which was so much fun. The the you know the skeleton, so that was a lot of fun. And these are characters. And you know when I think back on it, these are some great opportunities because I you know sometimes I would get a little down and depressed when things were slow. And that's right. what happens yeah, with it, actors. It, it, yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah. Yeah. And so when things would get slow, I would remind myself, you know, God did that for you before. He can do it again. Mm -hmm. But you have to get up and do the work. So because when we get down, a lot of times I know for me myself, I'm kind of paralyzed with disgust. And I don't want to do anything. I don't feel like I can do anything. But you got to get up. You got to keep going. Yeah. You cannot. You cannot let setbacks be um, the yeah. end all. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. you you have to you have to continue to to do that. And so I you know I have to remind myself every day. If he did it, he did it before. He can do it again. Do it again. So exactly. I um yeah. So I'm doing dinner theaters. Also, oh, again, I, love I, was it. Like, I used to yeah. always want to do that. I used yeah. to always wanted to do that. Yeah, like, like, a mystery theater. Yeah, murder thing. mystery. Uh, yeah, murder I, mystery I dinner theater. I so to do that. I did those back in oh lord the nineties, <laughs> and um, popular, we did yes. one. Yeah, we did. I did one back in Granbury, Texas, with a, a group. And let me tell you, Cammy, when I tell you, it was so much fun. It was a showboat. It mm -hmm. was a double decker. So we would perform the first scene, first course downstairs. Mm -hmm. And then we'd perform the first scene, first course upstairs, and then come back down and perform the second course, second scene. And so we would just go That's back and forth, oh, back and forth. So cool. A lot of work, but it was so much fun. So yeah. I'm getting back into that. And don't ever say what you'll never do again. Yeah. Because I thought I was done with that. And now I'm back doing that it again, <laughs> uh, right? So don't ever say what you won't ever do again. Yeah, because you never, you never know. know. You exactly. never know. You never exactly. know. So let me ask you: Do you know Kevin Halliburton? I don't. You don't. Where would okay. I? Where would I know him from? He was. Um, he was. Well, he was pretty good. He was a singer. He was a, a triple threat, pretty much. Okay. Okay. And he was doing theater in Dallas, and I just knew he knew just about everyone in those circles because mm -hmm. he was so good. Mm -hmm. He was so good. I, I mean, I used to manage him actually. He did. Uh, I did artist management for a little while, and I managed him. And he, oh my gosh, theater! You're talking about tearing the house down. Wow. Uh, we used to, you know, Curtis King. Oh, of course. Who doesn't know Curtis King? So we used to do like shows there. My first play was at the convention center. My very first play was there. Yes. Okay. And Fred okay. Hammond came, and you know it was just wonderful. I mean, the very first, your very first stage play, and uh -huh. to have big heavy hitters come to your play. Right. Pastor Haynes came. I mean, it was phenomenal. It wow. Was phenomenal. My very first play, and so uh, I had the support. You know, I in Dallas, you just friends and family they support you. They really yes. do. Absolutely. And so, okay, so you see, that's why we love to film in Dallas. I get it. I totally get it. I you totally know? get it. And so, uh, and then there's a whole lot like Ron, Ron, Ron Clemens. You know, Ron? Ron Clemens is a great actor. I need to put you in touch with him. He's okay. a very good art. He was my, <laughs> this poor boy, he used to say, uh, y'all buy Cammy's book so she can pay me. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Cammy? It bees that away sometimes. Sometimes when we have a dream and we have a vision, 
we got to have the right people in our corner who will help us out with that. Because oh, yeah. let's face it, we can't always afford to do things. And I'm coming from both an actor's perspective and a content creator's perspective. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so uh, I know my first um, movie, and I was bound and determined to pay people because I was the type of person, I was an actor, so I know how it was. Now, mm -hmm. I didn't pay people very much at all. I mean, we're talking about, uh, you know, yeah, hey, gas, money, up? and, and yeah. lunch. You yeah. know what I mean? So that's yeah. about all I could afford. But I had great people who were behind me. I had wonderful people who were behind me. They supported me. And they did an outstanding job because they had a love of the arts and they had a love for me. Mm -hmm. so that it, it bees that away sometimes i've you know of course we've yeah. all done things for free mm -hmm. so oh yeah absolutely yeah. i have um uh, so many great you know i, I did some stuff under shelly garrett just yeah so I, learn, I remember you telling me that so i can learn how to do my own stage plate you know mm -hmm. so you learn from people and then when you are out <laughs> there people see what you're doing and, and right. they don't mind helping you, you exactly know, Exactly. When you the ropes, they don't mind. Exactly. Um, you know, they don't mind making it, helping you make it happen. When exactly. they got a big name like they have, mm -hmm. you know, what harm is it to say, hey, Cammy, you know, you do this work for me, mm -hmm. you know, you do this grunt work for me, then yeah. in exchange, you know, you'll get the knowledge of how to do this. And mm -hmm. I don't mind doing that. And that's kind of how we do here at the studio. Yeah. You know, uh, we, we're fully staffed. Uh, well, not fully staffed. We need a receptionist, but, um, but as far as the team, you know, we got mm -hmm. T Nice, we got Dr. Ron, and we got Arthur. And between the four of us, you know, we make it happen. Absolutely. And that's what you have to do. And you know what? Keep it professional. People will definitely appreciate professionalism. Yes. So, absolutely. you know, even if you don't have a whole bag of stack of cash to give mm -hmm. people, people mm -hmm. will always appreciate professionalism. professionalism and food. <laughs> food, yeah. <laughs> that yeah. was the thing. My mother, God bless her, my mother catered all my films. Oh, that's good. And so she was dynamite. She's an excellent cook. So when I had her catering, oh, people were definitely like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. this, this is, is the real deal. Good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So if you can't pay people, pay, pay people well, at least feed them. Good. Feed them so, at least, at yeah, least. And you yeah. know, and, and that's that's only fair. You yeah. know, I had uh, some some guys not too long ago, and I, I hey, what do y'all want for lunch? You know, yeah. just they were painting. They were painting the offices. Mm -hmm. And what do you want for lunch? I didn't mind making sure that they ate well because absolutely. they were working. You know, absolutely. so you, you're absolutely right. Yeah. That helps a whole lot if you can feed them and their stomach not growling while they're working exactly. for you. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly. So <laughs> that that will always be uh, you'll always get brownie points when you are professional and you feed people. Yeah, at least you so. know that Cammy's gonna feed you. Ex else. There you go. Yeah, got there, it. Mm -hmm. Got it. Mm -hmm. So Tammy, okay. So now that you uh, know you know what you what you got going on, you you you're working on your book, your your movie. Sorry, you're mm -hmm. working on your movie. And you got all this other stuff. You get the book club going. And so so what what is the main goal for Tammy? <clears throat> what makes Tammy happy? Continuing to do content creations and doing it well. I, uh, you know, let me tell you something. When I first moved to Atlanta, my goal was to be famous. Mm -hmm. And I learned, it took me a bit to learn that you're in it for the wrong reasons. If you want to, even though I've been in it for many, many years, mm -hmm. you're in it for the wrong reasons. If fame and fortune is your number one goal, because sometimes that's just not going to happen. Right. But my main goal now, what I learned is to continue to be a working artist, a working creative and creative is an actor. Creative is a writer. Creative is a, 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 you know, I'm loving the book club. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. that's creativity and it's live. And so it is 
it, it's something that I am passionate about. Continue to do the things that you're passionate about. So that is my ultimate goal, goal to continue to be a working creative mm-hmm. and don't focus on the fame and fortune. Right. But focus so on it being will come eventually. Exactly. It will come eventually. It exactly. It really will. will. So what do you need from other people right now? What do you need to get yourself going? I need other creatives who have the same mind frame. Let me tell you what I also love doing is cosplay. And I started doing that about four years ago. Mm -hmm. Thanks to my dear friend and partner, Bob Carter. And so he... um, he got me into the world of cosplaying Mm -hmm. and that is something that i have been able to do i absolutely love it you go to these conventions you dress up in costume Mm -hmm. you don't have to learn lines you don't have to you know uh uh, uh, you don't have to show up on time you just get there when you get get there there. you know what i'm saying you get there in character and that's the fun of it all and so any of that so i i am really wanting to continue because that's what we did with my book. That's what we do. I'm not saying did that that's in past tense and it's Mm -hmm. going to happen again, but that's what we do in the book club. We also dress in the characters in the book. Yes. Yeah. So that is something that I really want to get off the ground again and Mm -hmm. keep it roll, keep it moving again while I do these other things. I love it. Absolutely love it. So you're like nonstop. You're like dynamite. You just don't stop. You don't know, job with money. I, I try, Cammy. I try. You know what I'm saying? There are, like I said, there are dry periods where you're just trying to trying to figure it out. Mm-hmm. And you're just trying to say, okay, what next? What do I do next? And so, you know, that's the thing. You have to you have to keep it moving. Yeah. And you can't let yourself, you can't let your mind get idle because we know what an idle mind is. Yeah. Well, let me ask you this, but with your director's hat on. Mm-hmm. So now, or do you look for other materials uh, outside your own writing or do you stick to your own guns? I mostly stick to my own guns. And the reason being is so that I can, we can keep it safe because there are a lot of dynamics when you go with other artists writing and their work and their vision. Mm -hmm. So I try to stick to my own. However, that's not to say that I would not be open to producing other, another writer's screenplay. Mm -hmm. You know, because I love producing other people's books, Mm -hmm. you know, with the book. I love doing that. So that has opened my mind to doing that with a screenplay. No, I love it. Absolutely love it. Yeah. So let me ask you this. Okay. So, and we might've touched on this before, Mm -hmm. uh, but for this show, we're going to talk, touch on it again. Okay. 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 So now I have, okay. So my book is not formatted for screenplay. Okay, so I had a company, Blue Dot, reach out to me for my book in order to shop it. And but the condition was they needed for me to format it in play, play, what do you call it? Screenplay. They needed me to format it in screenplay. And I did not know how to do that. I write stage plays, I do this, I do that, and do that, but I did not know how to do that. I didn't either. And you know how you learn how to do it? You do it. You, yeah. I was about to say now, you know, I found apps and things like that. You, but that was it. a challenge and it scared me. You know, it, it. And it is scary. However, you just have to do it. See, a scare. See, a, a thing, thing of it is when we are, when we fear something, it paralyzes us. Mm hmm. But not until we just go ahead and do it, do we see, hey, you know what? This is not as hard as I thought it would be, or this is not as hard as I made it out to be. Because I had never written, everyone has to start somewhere, right? Right. And I had never written a screenplay back in 2011 when I was writing Paradise House. Mm -hmm. Never, never. That was my very first screenplay that I had ever, ever written. And it was not in screenplay form. I have, you know, I didn't have that software. I just looked at a screenplay 
and said, okay, so this is how you write this. This is how you do this. This is how you do that. Mm -hmm. So I said, okay, well, I'll just co copy the formatting that they have on here with my regular um, Google document. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. And so that's what I did. And so I showed it to my very good friend, um, Kelly Gray Bobineau. And because she's a big time producer in Dallas, she is a producer's dream woman. Okay. And, <laughs> and so I gave the script to her and she said, she took me by the hand, like she does everybody. Um, and so she said, this is what you need to do. This is how you need to do it. And she gave me step by step by step instructions on what to do. And she helped produce this from start to finish. Wow. That's so, amazing. Yeah. 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 So she, um, yeah, she worked it out. Yeah. And she, well, she helped, she helped me. And so that's how Paradise House was born. So, the, the, so, so the thing to do is just to do it. Look at other screenplays, mm -hmm. get that software because mm -hmm. that software is very, well, certain ones are very user-friendly more. Some are more user-friendly than others. Mm -hmm. So get that software. That's yeah. I, I mean, exactly the opportunity do. might come up again. So I'm just like, yeah. huh, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it yeah. because I, I was afraid. And, and, the, and the window was so short too, though. I mean, it was oh, less yeah. than, yeah, it was, uh, I want to say two weeks. Seriously? They gave me two weeks to <laughs> turn my whole entire book into a screenplay. And so I reached out to an actor who mm -hmm. writes, you know, who this is what he does. Mm -hmm. And he charged me just to give me the name of the program. Okay. <laughs> well, so, and by the time okay. he, by the time I found this, the, the software that he was talking about, it dawned on me what had happened. And I'm like, wow, my feelings started being hurt. It was like, well, wait a minute. Oh, you man. charged me just to give me a name of a software when I could have just Googled it myself. Yeah. Uh-huh. You could have asked me. Well, that's what I'm saying. Uh, it was before you. Okay. It was before it was right. Well, actually, no, it wasn't before you. It was right around the time I met you. Yeah. Yeah. It was right around the time I met you. Yeah. And there are several uh, complimentary. I hate to use the word F-R-E-E -E because nothing in this world is F-R-E-E. -E. OK, exactly. you're paying. You've either already paid for it or you're going to pay for it. OK, <laughs> exactly. in some form or fashion. But there are plenty of complimentary software tools out there that you can use. They're not going to have all the dynamics that the ones you pay several, mm -hmm. you know, uh, uh, lots of bucks for. They're mm -hmm. not going to have all the dynamics, but they are going to have the basic things that you need mm -hmm. to get the job done. They yeah, will get the exactly. job done because exactly. I used the one that was complimentary mm -hmm. and I still use it. I still use it. <laughs> oh, I'm serious. Yeah. And it, gets the job done yeah you well know. when you don't know and, and, and you're great and a great producer is also going to know how to get the job done and know how to tell you how to tweak how to that script. And, 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 and and see all of these producers who have done a number of films they're going to know all these softwares whether they're free or for profit right so they're going to know these and they're going to tell you this is what you need to do this is how you need to do it they're going to know all that stuff yeah and then the crazy thing, Tammy, about this whole situation with Cammy with her crazy self. I'm interviewing movie directors every week. So you can I, ask I didn't. But you know what? You live and you learn. You live and you learn. Don't beat yourself up. Thing. Don't it beat yourself up. Right there. I mean, it's like. Yeah. In your face. Didn't even. Mm -hmm. I mean, a whole year I'm interviewing yeah. different movie directors, movie actresses. I mean, just all kinds of film people mm -hmm. and never dawned on me to ask that question during my interviews. Mm -hmm. yeah. So like you said, live and you learn. You live and you learn. Yeah. Celtics. Yeah. C-E-L-T-X. -E Celtics is a, a Celtics is a part of Final Cut. 
which mm -hmm. is the most popular screenwriting software, Final Cut, Final Cut Pro. Celtics is C-E-L-T-X, right? Celtics.com. Yeah, just Google it and it'll give you, but I'm pretty sure it's C-E-L, I look at it every day and I'm still, C-E-L-T-X, mm -hmm. and it is a, a um, it's a knockoff mm -hmm. from Final Cut, but it's, I think they have, I think they're the same, the same brand. Yes. I used to have Final Cut, but I had to stop paying for that because, well, <laughs> okay thank you i appreciate that absolutely yeah and so uh but you know i guess since i missed the deadline i just kind of womp womp you know what i mean but those, just like film festivals those those opportunities come back around and if it's not with the same company it'll be with a different company yeah yeah and so, so just know that yeah and so how how big is the blue dot company is it a company I, that i am not familiar with blue dot you're not familiar with them i will be okay. very honest with you and tell you i'm not familiar with them okay and so they i looked them up and i saw a lot of different celebrities that i recognize okay. you know okay i recognize and so it just yeah, you got to do your homework oh you yeah, gotta, yeah yeah do background checks on these companies and people because they're not always legit so and so uh hold on we got a um there you go. What's that? <laughs> Someone left us a message. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you. We appreciate it. <laughs> so, but yeah, so yeah, it's interesting. Now, now, if I would have known this then, you know what I mean? I wouldn't felt, I would have felt more confident knowing what I was doing and things like that. But I was all excited. I was all nervous. You know, course, somebody's interested in my my book, turning it into a movie. And they were just like all kinds of stuff, you know, that they let me read over the contract and how they were going to shop it mm -hmm. and just all kinds of stuff. And so I was so excited. And when I didn't make that deadline, oh, it was the end of my world. It was the end of my world for about that a couple of days. <laughs> that was a little unrealistic two weeks two weeks two weeks but i'm sure now this is the thing i'm sure they thought i could do what we were just discussing when i didn't that wasn't even part of you know that's to me that's cheating if you're using a software to to do stuff why so i never would have thought to do that, I'm, I'm like you now at this point, I was like, okay, so I got to figure out how to do this format and I have to figure out, you know, all this stuff. And so my book is, you know, even though it's published, I still have like this, the whole manuscript, right? Yeah. So how am I going to go through this whole manuscript and change all this stuff? You know, so in my mm -hmm. mind, I made it bigger than what yeah. it was. Right. You know, and that's what we do. We overthink things. And that's what happened. I was like, yeah. And so then that's when I was in our out. head. Yeah. Yeah. I, I kept, it was here. It was here. Yeah. And I'm like nervous. And, and now I have this deadline and this is something I really, really never thought about, but mm -hmm. would love to pursue it, you know, at this point. Mm -hmm. And so, but being, you being a, a movie director and, and this is your world, I mean, to see it, a rookie, you know, fumbling for stuff. Now you, you can, you just like your friend did to you, you know, mm -hmm. this is, this 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 like what you just did to me i mean so now you're a pro at calming other people down now <laughs> you know what i mean it's yeah. kind of like because it's it's, it's, it's really it's really not as hard as you think it is you just have to do it and that's what i have learned you just have to do it because every every opportunity you don't take you won't get Mm, so like you, you gotta just do it like Nike. That's why I, I was love, gonna I'm say a the Nike. Nike uh, that's, that's why I'm a Nike woman. I wear Nike shoes. That's all I buy is Nike tennis shoes. Nike shoes. I'm a Nike just girl. Do so just do it. Uh, and and do if it. you if you mess up, that's okay. And a mm. lot of times we think that's the end of the world if we mess up. It's not. If you mess up, that's okay. Oh, I know man. because, like I said, my very first screenplay, I gave that to them and just like my Google sheet stuff that I wrote. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I did. And uh, the director tried to say, well, this isn't in screenplay format. I said, okay, well, what screenplay format? <laughs> and so 
Yeah. And so he said, well, it's dot, da, 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 da. I said, okay, well, how do I get dot, da, 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 da? And so finally, you know, because sometimes you got to pull stuff out of people. Out of people, yeah, because they, they, they think you should know. You exactly, know? exactly. And so I'm just like, okay, newsflash, this is my first. So, see, I get people back when y'all try to make me look like I'm stupid. <laughs> you flip I'll it. throw that stuff back to you, you know, <laughs> and I make you look like you don't know what you're doing. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? I love it. <laughs> because I will not... And I repeat, I will not be intimidated. There you go. Better recognize. <laughs> you better understand who you're dealing with. Right. I love it. Absolutely love it. <laughs> okay. So tell, give us some uh, positive women, people who influenced you down your pathway. Well, first and foremost, my mother, Cheryl Thomas. My mother was one of the classiest uh, most sophisticated cultural being on the planet. When I was a little girl, my mother was taking me to classical plays and uh, concerts, rather. Right. I went to the opera in the sixth grade. Now, this was with my school group, but she made sure she bought a beautiful dress. It was royal blue and black. I'll never forget that dress. And she made sure that I went to that to discover. And this was Othello. That was a very first uh, 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 Shakespeare Mm -hmm. play that I said it was an, op an opera mm -hmm. and so she would take me to movies Cammie we saw every movie that came out we saw Star Wars she took me to see Ferris Bueller's Day Off <laughs> uh, uh, we, 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 we saw um, Adventures in Babysitting um, uh, Boys in the Hood you know my mom took me to see just about every movie there was when I was growing up so many of them and so that was the first person that inspired me. Uh, another person that inspired me were my elementary school teachers. And uh, one, uh, um, what Miss Joanne, we called them by their first name back then mm -hmm. in the elementary school I went to because it was a very small private school. And so there was Sister Sharp, there was Miss Joanne, there was Miss Michelle, <laughs> there was Miss Janice. So all of them inspired me. It, you know, it wasn't a bunch of celebrities that did that. These were people who were in my life. My mm -hmm. Auntie Charlotte, my Aunt Nettie, my grandmother, of course, Lord have mercy, Lula Jackson. That's who my character in Paradise House, that's who I named my character after my grandmother, Lula Jackson. Oh, wow. Yes. So those ladies inspired me. And they, God rest my grandmother's soul, but they continue to inspire me and they continue to be the people that I look up to, you know, um, yeah. you know, as far as men are concerned. Now, you know, going off of, and my Uncle Bill, you know, he was instrumental in my life. Uh, we uh, I called him Uncle Bill. His name is Sean, but I got that from a family affair. <laughs> yeah, 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 everybody has an Uncle Bill. Uncle William Bill. Bill. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, so, so, Uncle Bill. <laughs> uh, yeah, Uncle Bill. So, um, so you know, but as far as uh, uh, celebrities, I'm going to have to say one that has really inspired me is Byron Allen, because that man is doing his thing. Okay, and he's Always got. Have. Uh, yeah, he's got networks. He's got things going for the African American community. He's got things going for the community in general, the betterment of artists. Uh, I just saw Paradise House on the Grio channel, so I was extremely excited about nice. that. Nice. And so that's that's who I have. I love it. Absolutely yeah. love it. So, yeah. Oh, and my mom. Oh, and another thing about my mom, the reason she okay. inspires me so much. My besides mother was, her not besides her being like the best cook ever. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but she read to me every night before I went to bed. Every Aww. night. She would read to me every night. And that is. I, I don't mean to brag, but I was an ex exceptional reader in elementary school. I didn't do well in school. But if I didn't do anything else well, I read well. <laughs> I mean, I would read better than anybody in my classes, you know, and this was in what first grade, second grade, third, all, you know, all the grades. 
And see, and that's why you became a writer. Right. This is this, this is why. And my love for cinema. Mm -hmm. Because mom and I would go to a movie probably uh, twice a week. As a matter of fact, I remember Star Wars was sold out. I was only, when it came out, I was only four. And I do remember this. It was sold, the, the seven o'clock show was sold out. And so she stayed, we stayed in the parking lot. She had a blanket for me and I took a nap. She took me in to see the midnight show. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Y'all were determined to see that movie. That's so cool. Yeah. That is That's so the kind cool. of stuff that my mom and I would do. She would do with me is make sure that I saw movies, 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 movies. Wow. You know, uh, we saw Romancing the Stone. We saw Raiders of the Lost Ark. I mean, just... All of them. <laughs> oh my gosh. Sound like y'all had a lot of fun. We did. We had a lot of fun. We did. I had a great childhood. She was strict, you know, but she, hey. She made up for it with the yeah. others. Yeah. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. Absolutely. <laughs> well, Miss Tammy, I cannot wait to meet you in person. I know. We need to do that. You we know do. I mean? We do. I want to come to Atlanta. I uh, know we talked about this before. I want to come to Atlanta pretty soon. This summer, for sure, I do want to go. I'm just going to drive down. Um, mm -hmm. let the top down and just hit the highway, you hit know, the highway. That's what I always do. I do a lot of driving because plane tickets are so expensive. Yes. Now, how long is the trip from Atlanta to Dallas driving? Uh, 12 hours. 17? How many? 12 hours. 12. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, so you're um, going to go through three states. You're going to go through first. The first one is, uh, Mississippi. No, um, what is it? Uh, no, Alabama. Mississippi, Louisiana, and then Dallas. In Texas. I mean, Texas. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, okay. I, I kind of got my bearings. Yeah. Because, you know, I lived in New Orleans before. That's how I got my my um, my um uh, traveling ticket. I left Dallas. I, I never left Dallas, never lived outside of Dallas before in my life. Oh. And I decided my kids are grown. This is time for me to do what I want to do. So I packed up my little truck and I moved to Houston. That was a okay. long way, three hours. Uh -huh. Houston. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <Yeah. laughs> right. And a girlfriend that lives in New Orleans for my radio show, she was on my radio show every week mm -hmm. and she would call in and I always kept saying, I want to go to New Orleans. So she goes, Cammie, you need to come to New Orleans. You always said you wanted to come to New Orleans, come to New mm -hmm. Orleans. Mm -hmm. So I got my little white truck again, packed up my little stuff again, and I moved to New Orleans and I stayed there for five years uh, wow. in Florida, Louisiana. And um, so left there, then my job moved me to um, Kansas City, mm -hmm. stayed in Kansas City for a year. And then they moved me from Kansas City to Virginia. Wow. And I've been here five years now. Close your eyes and another year has passed. So I've been wow. here five years. Yes. You have been, you have done your thing. Hey, this is, this is life. And so yes. when I first moved here, I caught the train and I went to New York. I've never been to New York. Uh-huh. And um, then I. It was great. It was. <laughs> it was crazy. No, yeah. It, it was fun. It was scary because I was by myself pretty much. Oh, the first time I went to New York, I was by myself, honey. I so, stayed in Manhattan. Oh, yeah, so I did that, but I had friends there, so they were. Okay. You know, I was able to see my friends once I got there, and then after that, um, I went to North Carolina. But what you call it, Myrtle Beach? Went mm -hmm. to Myrtle Beach for the first time, and then I went to Atlanta. Wow! And uh, it was shut down though; it was locked down during that time, and I was able to see Tyler Perry Studios from mm -hmm. the gate. You know, yeah. That's, and but I went to this one place. I keep saying international market. I don't know if that was the real name of it, but I had so much fun. Yeah. All these different vendors and yeah, people. that's you know, always, that's always it so was much so fun. cool. Different yeah. nationalities. And, mm -hmm. you know, it was just so cool. Yeah. You know, we lived, I want to say we were downtown because of the, the hamburger place, the wall, Wahlberg's. What is it? The, the actor. Uh, oh, Wahlberg. The Wahlberg. Wahlberg. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. We, we were right there at the hotel next to his hamburger place. Okay. There. All right. I've never been to that. I've never so been yeah, it was good. It was okay. Good. Okay. Yeah. So but anyway, that's, that's my little life in a nutshell. <laughs> so I got to so get you, back down to see you. you. Yes, you do. You have been, you have, you're very well traveled. Yeah. I and mean, I'm getting there anyway. 
getting there anyway. I mean, no, you're as there. far as laying my hat. Now, mm -hmm. as far as vacations, all my vacations are usually at a beach somewhere. And now I'm like three blocks from the beach. Uh, so yeah. my staycation is, I'm still got, I still have my staycation going on. That is all right. That's yeah. wonderful. Yeah. So where next? Where Do next? You, uh, I don't know. I keep thinking about that. I keep thinking, you, you know, is this the stop? Is this where I want to? Okay. Yeah. This is the, is this where I want to settle? I don't think so. You know, I think I want to get this uh, studio up mm -hmm. and going where I don't have to be here and everybody, you know, when we just open up another studio in another state. Yeah. You know, and I think yeah. that's the direction that we're going in because uh, we're already all over the world, the world anyway, right now. Yeah. And so, absolutely. Uh, so I think I dream think, big. Yeah. that That's what we are. Yeah. So, at least when I die, you can say, Ooh, women, here you go. Here you go. At least when I die, you'll say, Ooh, Cammy died with a smile on her face. <laughs> she did it. She had her fun. <laughs> she did her thing. There you go. Absolutely. So, absolutely. Girl, I enjoyed I this girl talk. You are so sweet. Ah, thank you so this much. So and much so fun. are you. And I have I always have we I always have fun yeah. talking to you. Me too. Yeah. Me too. I said the fun does not stop. No, you know I'm here doesn't. if you need me. Absolutely. And so just know Absolutely. that. I mean, I, people say yeah. that. I, I mean it. I mean, I'm not just saying it yeah. just because of the show or whatever. I'm saying if you need me, I'm here for you. Well, uh, you know what? Don't don't you be surprised if I'm in your inbox again. Not at all. Come on. Come on. So even if you need that little trip to the beach, <laughs> I have an extra umbrella and a chair. So <laughs> yes. I love the beach. You know, I would See? go to Brooklyn Beach all the time. Coney Island when I lived in New York. I would oh, go wow. there all the time. I get to see I go that. a lot of times by myself just, you know, just to have some peaceful, just just peace, you know, and just go because it was so beautiful because you had Coney Island and then you had at uh, the other end, Brooklyn Beach. They were the same, but different. And mm -hmm. I just, I would do that a lot of times. And so oh, I lived yeah. on uh, Flatbush Avenue. Okay. Um, in, in Brooklyn. Yeah. So take the Q train into Manhattan. And I worked in um, Rockefeller Plaza, uh, Rockefeller Center for a little while. Okay. I've seen that. And uh, I also... Yeah, and I was also in a play in Harlem, so I would nice. get off from work and then have to go to Harlem and go to rehearsals. And so yeah. I saw the Apollo. I saw the yeah, uh, yeah, Apollo. Uh, yeah. I mean, I had fun when I was there, girl. I saw. Did you did you rub that tree trunk? Because <laughs> the first thing I had to do was rub that. Tree. Oh yeah, oh, you got I got to. it. <laughs> yeah, you have to. And yeah. so, uh, but I I saw everything. I had a uh, 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 was a cheesecake. From one of those famous places. Yeah, Juniors. There. Juniors. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. That is a so, staple, and that's a must see. Well, uh, a, a must go to. Yeah. For yeah. everybody who goes to New York, Juniors, because because they have the world's best cheesecake. So, yeah, and they so. and they really do. It was mm -hmm. so good. It's it was yummy. So good. It's it's rich. Oh, yeah. You can only eat like a couple of bites at a time. Not me. I ate the whole thing. <laughs> Listen, I don't play with my cheesecake. Go, oh, baby. Oh, my uh, gosh. Uh, uh. <laughs> You're so funny. Okay, girl. Well, we're going to call it a night. Um, Tammy, thank you so much for being on the show. Thank and you for having welcome. me. Anytime you got any projects that you want us to help promote, uh, you know, feel free. We'll do the trailer like we did before. Um, and we got you, girl. Thank you so much, Cammy. And I will definitely remember that. And I will keep you updated on this horror Yes, because, you know, I don't mind dying. <laughs> <laughs> I All right, you. guys. <laughs> this was Tammy. Tell, me, tell people how to get in touch with you before, before we go. You can go to Tammy Thomas 5833 and follow me on Instagram. And you can also follow me on Facebook. I always forget my Facebook address because somebody else created it. Oh, so just look for me on there. Just look for her. And she I has, have an AI picture. <laughs> I have an AI 
used it for my profile picture is AI. <laughs> it's an AI generated picture. You know how to do that. Now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, I'm, so, I'm the queen of AI right now. Okay, so, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm yeah, the queen yeah. of AI right now. So yeah, there you go. So I mean, at Facebook, you can you know follow me on Facebook, Instagram. I only have those two. I can't handle any more than two social media accounts. Okay. So those two wraps. One or the other, guys. One, or you can do both. And if you, uh, you know, you can do both, but if you get stuck and you, you need to reach her, uh, you can always go through SKST radio and uh, mm -hmm. you'll be able to find her information. Uh, I'm going to post her. Um, this, this video will be on our site and it'll have her her information. So that way you can get in touch with her. Cause as you know, she is a writer. She has a book club. She is a movie director. She's an actress. What don't this lady do, right? She's in theater. She's just phenomenal. And that's why she's here today. So international woman's day, we're going out with a bang. Because we got all these good women and, and look at this lady right here. So I love it. I love you, Tammy. Thank I you so you. much for being on the show. And Thank we you will for see having everybody me. next week. All right. Bye. Bye. Yeah.